Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otto C, and today we take a look at the other source river of the Rhine, the Hinter Rhine. We will travel down the last section before the confluence with the Vorder Rhine. The put in is downstream from the village of Rotenbrunn on the right side. The put out is right at the confluence on the left side. Many of the Vorder Rhine's right side contributaries are dammed up and their water is used for power generation from one valley into the next, finally ending up in the Hinterrhein, just a bit above the Putin. This lower section has enough water all year round and higher water levels do not make the river significantly harder. It's more increased speed of the water. On the first few hundred meters the Hinterrhein flows in a modified channel. Once the artificial boulder bank moves back, the river has the full range of the valley floor. In my years on this section, the river took more and more back from its natural course and nowadays flows through floodplain forest. The Hinterrhein is an ideal choice for beginners right after the first steps on the indoor swimming pool during the winter. The flow is not too fast and there are plenty of eddies to train. And on top of this there is a breathtaking landscape. If any beginner is not hooked for this sport after the trip, it was not meant to be. When the castle of Ratsuns is right above the river, the technical interesting part of the section starts. While the hinterrhein is wide enough so anyone can choose a simpler route, it offers a few holes and surf waves. From here on, the river burrows through the moraine to break through towards the Vorderrhein to form one of Europe's large rivers. Below the highway bridge, which connects the north through the San Bernardino with the south of Switzerland, is an allegedly eddy which can swallow paddlers as a whole. This was even before my time, so imagine long boats and high water level. Unfortunately, the puddler was a beginner and the guide was unable to reproduce this feat. Once the valley opens, the human hand helped a bit in restoring a natural flow and they did a good job. So you can expect plenty more eddies to hone your skill. Right at the confluence with the Vorder Rhine, the highway and train tracks cross over. The exit is somewhere along the left shore. On nice days, you will see plenty of people here. As always, you can find more information in the description below. Note that I recently also made two guides for the Vorder Rhine. If you enjoyed this one, consider leaving a like and hit the subscribe button to not miss the next video. I am Hatsusti and wish you many happy hours on the water. Bye!